Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Daria and today I have a special video for you guys. I'm in Vienna in my hotel room and I just got a little something from Dior and I wanted to show it to you guys. Last time I got a bag from Dior was in Monaco like a year and a half ago and I didn't film an unboxing for it and I thought about it for a while so this time I really do want to make sure I show it to you guys especially since it's such a cute bag and it's something that I honestly have been thinking about for a bit so in case you're on the fence about the Lady D Joy because that's the one I got I would recommend you watch this video because I wasn't sure either I myself watched some YouTube videos about it just to make sure that I would want it or to hear what kind of feedback people had so I will give you guys like a first impression and I'll even show you if I can what I can fit inside because I know that's a big question that I've seen even under the videos that I watched so yeah let's get started so um there's only one Dior in Vienna and it's honestly very cute I went in two days ago and I wasn't sure what I wanted so I tried on a bunch of bags and this one is just the one that I I guess had my eye on the most obviously there's bags that I want from there still but this one is a good one for me I have the saddle in the tan color and I'm obsessed with it so I know I love I think Dior in general so I really did want to drop by this is literally like an unboxing unboxing because I have not seen it since the store so I want to give you guys the genuine first impressions let me just put this down also how cute that they give you this little chain I mean I guess it's a keychain I had it when I went to the Monaco store as well and I still have that one to this day so here she is in all her glory they packaged her really nice I will never be able to recreate this bow so like <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it I took a photo of it and that's there she is I love that the box is not huge obviously I got a small bag so I it's good to travel with and I honestly like let me come here I honestly like keeping the boxes and the packaging that it comes with normally so yeah let's unbox her so I went to the store and I knew I do like the um, lady Dior the normal one but I feel like it gives very classy lady elegant which like I would aspire to be but I don't feel like I'm there yet so I was looking at their D Joy bags and all the mini bags in general. I love a mini bag. Honestly, I'm not a big bag type of gal. The only big designer bag that I have would be the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but I got that like years ago and I used it for school. I don't carry a lot. I literally carry like lip gloss and my phone and my camera and my wallet. That's not even a wallet. It's the Louis Vuitton key pouch, so it's quite small. So I definitely knew I wanted a mini bag. I went to Chanel, I saw their mini bags, I saw like the mini flaps with the handles. I really liked it, but they didn't have a black one, so I would really, I don't own anything from Chanel yet, so I would really want a, my first Chanel bag to be a black one or like a dark gray. They had some cute dark gray ones, but I went in for the Vanity and they didn't have any. They said they were getting some in like five days, but I'm not here. I leave tomorrow and then Budapest and Malta, where I'm going next, do not have Dior's. Uh, like Dior stores to my knowledge from what I've seen um so I knew I wanted to get something now especially I'm from Montreal so buying stuff when I'm in Europe is convenient um always for designer places and yeah so that's the backstory <laughs> it's kind of long apologies um went to Dior tried the micro size and the small size and was so torn because the small genuinely does fit more, but it's also bigger and bulkier and it's honestly heavier. So I wasn't sure that's something I wanted. And then the color was a whole thing. Um, so I tried a bunch on. I'll put photos of what I've tried. It was the cloud blue one. It was the beige one in the small. They don't make the micro in that color, but they do make the micro in like a pink toned beige which I also tried and I thought about it today but uh because normally I'm a neutral girl <laughs> all my bags are either beige black gray so I I don't really wear that much color either in life this is, this is more my vibe 
So I knew I wanted something that's not too bold, too out there, because that's just personally not me on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, having said that, I thought about it for two days, and then I went back today, made an appointment, because it's Saturday and it's busy. Let me show you the actual bag now. I think that it would go with most of my outfits, even though it's not technically that much of a neutral color. Let me show you. I ended up going with the Lady D-Joy in the cloud blue. It's a blue, but it's more, I think I would call it more of a muted tone blue. It's not something that's flashy. It's just small and dainty. Here she is. Let me take this off for you guys. But yeah, so she is in the micro size very tiny i must say <laughs> the first time i saw it because i've seen it before but not really up close i never tried it on i was like oh she looks so small she looks so cute she is tiny here we have the dior and then yes here she is so yeah like i was saying cloud blue i feel like it's it's you know it's definitely color but it's not flashy or anything this is definitely something that i would wear on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, what I love about this bag, because I feel like the small and the medium just kind of have an awkward big shape. This one, to me, is just cute and dainty. And that's honestly exactly what I wanted. And I don't know if you guys are familiar, but um, she does come with two straps. So there's this one. That's a chain. And the gold, if I'm not mistaken, is called champagne, like the color of the chain. And even here, the hardware. So it's kind of an in-between, between, between uh, gold and silver, so it depends. I like to mix my metals with jewelry, so uh, I like that you can kind of wear both with it. And then there's a the small strap, and then it also comes with a long strap that's the same color as the bag. If you want, I'll put it on and show you guys what it looks like. I love that it has... Two straps and I honestly feel like they provide a different type of vibe <laughs> best way to describe it it's not one I'd say like the the strap is way more why am I struggling the strap is way more cutesy and dainty and then the longer strap makes it a bit more I guess casual here she is but yeah I'm just genuinely so obsessed with it let me put it on here. Very small, but that's honestly exactly what I wanted. And also, I got this little... It's gray on one side and blue-toned purple flowers on the other side. I honestly don't know exactly what it's called. I'll put it right here. I know that Hermes is called a twilly. But I honestly don't know the name at Dior. I need to look it up. And yeah, I just think it adds a little a little something to the bag. And I'm just obsessed with the way it looks. I think it matches my outfit. It's just... Can you tell I'm obsessed? <laughs> I really do love it so much. And yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like with the longer strap. And then I'll show you what fits inside. Because that's what I was genuinely curious about because i i'm a content creator so i always have my phone and my camera and i was curious to see in other people's videos if they do fit in this one uh spoiler alert they do they do not really i have the um iphone 15 pro max and i tried it with the case and it doesn't work i would say with the without the case it would but um, with the case, it definitely does not. Let me show it to you guys. See, I feel like this makes it a bit more casual. But yeah, I love that you can have both options and that it comes with the bag and it's not like an additional thing because I know before with the saddle, you had to buy the strap and then when I bought it, it came with it. And I know some bags are still like strap, no strap, additional strap. This one comes with both and yeah. I think she is beauty. Let me go grab my phone and my lip gloss and like everything and show you guys what fits inside. Okay, I'm back. So when you open the bag, 
it's just there's no pockets or anything granted it's like let me show you it's as big as my hand so you don't really need pockets for that but normally i would have my wallet which like i said is not really a wallet it's the louis vuitton key pouch so this one definitely fits inside but when you look at it it's pretty much a third full so that's what i would normally have and then i would also have a lip lip product this one's pretty thick it's from essence so we're gonna put this one because it's bigger okay that fits perfectly and then if you have i don't have my keys because i'm not home but normally i would have keys and that would perfectly fit in here for sure and yeah honestly that's about as much as you can fit maybe like a sanitizer or some tissues but yeah, and it's what I like about this one. I don't know if I said, but the small feels pretty heavy. Granted, this one with all these things inside it does feel a little, but it's definitely not as heavy as the small one was. So that's why also I was drawn to the micro size because I don't like having small. I mean, small. I don't like having heavy purses. But yeah, let me try my phone. I'm pretty sure from what I've seen, it does not fit. But we shall attempt anyways, just to make sure. 15 Pro Max. And yeah, that does not. <laughs> that does not fit. So there you go. In case you were wondering, let me try without the case. In case I always have my case on. Granted, I always have my phone in my hand. It's never not in my hand. So that's not really a problem for me. But without a case okay without a case it fits perfectly i'd say diagonally um there you go there you have it if you want to wear it without your case it like just fits and it's not really it's not doing anything to the shape of the bag because i know i would hate that but yeah so if you really do want to bring your phone and it's a pro max or just any big phone in general it does fit you just have to take the case off but yeah, I don't really know what else I should tell you guys about this bag. It's honestly not that complex. It's pretty small. And yeah, that's mostly what fits inside. I'd say that's the essentials. But yeah, the two straps, micro. This is the cloud blue. Like I said, it's definitely blue, but it's not blue in my eyes. <laughs> and then added this on top. And I just think it's so feminine and just really what i was looking for and if you have any questions about anything do let me know right now i honestly can't think of more things that i should tell you about this but if you want to know anything or like how shopping for luxury in europe works i can definitely answer it for you in the comments but here she is new addition to the family she is my fifth designer bag and i couldn't be more grateful that i have the opportunity to purchase things like this but yeah i don't know what i should name her we should probably name her <laughs> let me know in the comments if i should name her something but here she is lady djoy micro and yeah, i'm a new member of the family so stay tuned stay tuned for more honestly we all know i'm gonna, i'm gonna get more probably on my next trips because i like buying my bags while i'm on trips it also like adds the memory of being on the trip and purchasing it so stay tuned for the trips that i take next but yeah i think that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed again if you have any questions do let me know and if not i will see you guys in next week's video